This is lesson five in our Illustrator tutorials. And in this lesson, we're going to take a photograph and trace it to make an abstract or uh, stripped down uh, version of the, uh, of the photo for a logo. Now, when you place an object in Illustrator, uh, you get it in the center of your work area. So it's going to be centered right here and it will come in at full size and you want large images that you can reduce uh, scale down so that when you zoom in to work on them you have enough fine resolution that you can make the sort of drawing that you want without it pixelating so I have a rather large photo I'm going to use let me show you how this works to do this I'm going to zoom out you zoom out by holding the command or control key and typing a hyphen minus sign. And so I'm going to zoom out so you can see how this works. Then you go to the file menu to place. And I have my picture from the uh, Illustrator files for these lessons. And you can see that it's a, a very large drawing or excuse me, a very large picture, and it's centered on the work area. Now I'm going to reduce it down, and to reduce it down, I'm going to use the scale tool right there. And there's two ways you can do this. One is to click, and that sets sort of a reference point, and then drag. And if you hold the shift key, it will hold the proportions of the picture. Okay. The other way to do it is to hold the Option or Alt key, depending on your uh, Mac or PC. I've got the Option key held down, and then I click, and I get this dialog box, and you can type in something like 25%. Uh, that's probably a little too small. Let's try it again. Hold the Option key, click, and uh, we're going to make it 40%. Okay, just right. Okay, so now we're ready to start drawing on it, and we'll zoom back in. Remember, it's Command or Control-0 to give you the full uh, picture like that. And we're also going to select our picture and lock it. Lock selection so that we can draw over it without it moving around. And now we're ready to go. What I'm going to make is a abstract representation of Mount Ararat. This is Mount Ararat, uh, it's a, uh, and it's a sister peak. And uh, this is uh, uh, the view from the capital of Armenia. We're going to make an abstract version of uh, Mount Ararat for a logo. Let's start by zooming in here. And when you do this sort of work, you don't need to be too fine with it. Uh, you, you want it to look accurate, but you don't need every little detail. So I'm going to start over here, right about here and use my Bezier curves. Now you notice I've got the fill turned on, so I'm going to turn that off so we can just use the stroke. And I'm also going to reduce the stroke to uh, 0.25 because that will let me see the um, a line a little bit more accurately as we get into some of the finer details of it. And again, I'm not getting too fine with this, just like so. That one I'm going to do Control Z or Command Z and uh, do over again. And then we'll go down here. Notice how we drag our handles to fit the contour of the mountain, like so. And we'll work a little quickly. Uh, probably quicker than I would like here, but um, you'll get the idea of how this works. And like so. And here we, we may not want to get too fine with it, but there's certain parts of this we want to capture. And if we want to, we can zoom in a little finer, like so, and get more accurate. And as I said, there's no sense being overly fine with it. Now you can do this with any uh, picture, but you want to pick ones that have 
the kinds of objects in them that can be reduced to a few lines uh, and a minimum of shading for logos and so forth such as the logo you're going to do for the Association for Education and Journalism. Just like that. And I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to use the controller command minus sign and uh, quickly finish this. Don't like that one. And as I said, you may want to be more careful than this uh, for your finished designs, but too much detail is not good either. You can uh, make it so that it becomes a very complicated drawing and it won't reproduce. A lot of those fine details will not reproduce uh, at small sizes. And lots of times we want our logos to be used in a variety of purposes, some of which uh, such as business cards or and so forth um, would require a smaller size. Now to finish up here I'm still using my pen tool but I want to finish where I started. I'm going to turn my rulers on and drag a guide to this starting point so that I get straight across in my finishing point over here and now I can complete my shape right on the guide and come back over and complete my shape there. That's how it's looking. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is uh, do the snow cap for this. And to do this, rather than redraw all this, I'm going to use my direct select tool and just drag across and copy this and then I'll paste it into place and when I pa uh, paste it into place now uh, I can drag it and match the points so that I get an exact placement of it and then I can take my pen tool and you notice that it just selected part of the uh, shape that uh, we clicked on plus a little uh, point or two more and I'm hurrying here now so that uh, we don't waste too much of your time like so okay that's how that looks so now we have our snow cap and our uh, uh, background so now let's go to our direct select tool and let's fix our colors on these the snow cap will make white and uh, we'll find our swatches here right here and our mountain we're going to make a becoming shade of blue like so and we'll get rid of the stroke on this and uh, there we go now we lock down our picture and so we're going to delete the picture we go to object unlock and we just delete it and there's our start. Now let's put a background on it. So I'm going to get a, the rectangle tool and come in like this. And you notice it's blue. And uh, so let's change the color on that so we can see what it looks like. Like so. And we'll send it to the back. And uh, that's how our logo is looking. Now let's do something fun with our background here. Let's put a gradient in it and that would be this box right here that we would click right on our toolbar says gradient and that gives us this and then we can use our gradient tool which is right here and alter the direction of the gradient like so and if I hold the shift key it will alter that uh, gradient so that it um, uh, is uh, straight up and down. Okay, let's change the color now of our gradient. We'll click on this one. And we'll ask for CMYK and uh, let's put in a nice sort of sunset color like so. And then for our other one we'll put in another color 
and let's try something like this and there we go we have our gradient now to finish up I'm going to select everything I'm going to lock it down and put some text on it oops I changed my view there okay like that and we'll get our our palette here we'll pick an Armenian looking typeface like so give it some size and there's our logo and now it's ready to be used any way we want